Hey, what's up, guys? We got the last and final video for the How to One Shot All Bosses in Act Six. Um, so yeah, first off, we start in this first boss. Um, a six point four, maybe a six point one or six point four. Definitely have the easiest bosses. Um, this first boss, for example, it's literally just a big ice man with Matador. Matador, if you don't know, is when they throw a special, you get a bar of power. It's very straightforward. If you have an ice wind counter, this is easy. That's literally it. It's just that simple. You just need someone who's an ice wind counter. And for me, I use Ghost. You could literally use anyone who's immune to Frostbite, Cold Snap, whatever it's called. And you might even not be able to. You, you might bring someone who's not even immune to it. I don't know if you can tank the damage, but you might be able to. Um, but. Just bring someone who's a decent counter for Iceman, and this should be pretty much easy clap. This, um, probably one of the easiest bosses in X6, honestly. Because there's basically, like, no restrictions. If you're at 6.4, you have someone who can counter Iceman. I mean, uh, like, you just have to at that point. So, this fight's over. Special one, kill him. Next, we got 6.4.2. This boss is a little bit harder. Um, I used um, boost, as you can see. It is prove yourself unblockable specials, and specials are fatal. So prove yourself is kind of an annoying node because you need to get 15 hits to start doing damage. Um, I have this node in AQ from Mount 7 on one of the paths. But what makes this fight hard is, for one, oh, also he has um, power reserve. So when he throws a special, he'll only take half the amount of power he used, which makes him throw a lot more specials. But, um, and his specials are unblockable, and if they touch you, you instantly die. Like, if you were to get hit with any special, you will instantly die. It'll, you, it has death touch on it, and as you can see, like, that, like, grave icon on the top right, when they throw a special. And it's Thor Ragnarok, so, you know, he's gonna be throwing, um, so he's gonna be getting that power gain after the 20 hit thing. So there's a shit ton of stuff to, um, just pay attention to in this fight. Um, I tried Archangel, I know it works since I've used him before. But I didn't get the one shot, and Ghost is just safer. Because if you do get hit by the special three, um, well, if you have the hood synergy, then you won't die from death touch. But, and you can phase the shocks. So it's not that bad. I think I even might get hit with the special three in this fight. I don't remember, because I did record this a while ago. But, yeah, this fight is, um... It, you'd think it's easy, but his special two... There's sometimes some really retarded reach on that shit. And I've died, and if you've done this, you've probably died maybe once or twice for, to his, that reach. I mean, um, you don't think you'd die to it, but sometimes you got, you know, sometimes you just make a mistake and it's not fun. So right here, I'm baiting out more specials um, to throw a special one myself because I didn't have enough power to get to a special two. And I didn't want him to get to a special three from his power gain, so I need to throw any special really. So yeah, this fight's almost over. So I don't think yeah, I don't think I get hit with the special three in this fight. Um, I think I got hit with the special three when I was using Archangel. Um, yeah, this fight it's just it's it you just gotta it's just all about pacing really. He's throwing a lot of specials and your dexes and and your dexes just gotta be on point. Can't get hit any special hits you you die. So yeah, that's that fight down. Not that bad. Next we got 6.4.3. This is the fight that not a lot of people like, um, and I know why. He starts in his uh, null mode, which basically means he does a shit ton more damage, and combined with the node, he's fully unblockable. I'm pretty sure if you try to heal reverse this guy, you also die from like the Lionheart node. I don't really know exactly what it does. All I know is it's a big-ass Darkhawk with a lot of block damage, and I think special power reserve... Like the last fight too, I think they both actually. Now I think about it, um, I think yeah, I think they both. Um, what's it called? Uh, have more like when they throw a special, it'll only take halfway half of their power. So they'll still still be throwing a lot more specials. This fight, you can one shot the Corvus. I think I've done it before, but it's not that fun. Um, for me, <laughs> definitely the easiest is Quake. Um, yeah, just for me, it's Quake. I think you. I don't recall why I didn't bring Ghost into this fight, now thinking about it. Um, there's probably some other nodes I forgot about, because it's been a while since I've done this. But it's basically just a big-ass dark off. If you have Quake as a 5-star, just rank 5 or because I've been doing the Axe... Uh, after all these Axe 6 fights, and I've been doing the Axe 7 beta, 
while I'm recording this. Um, I've done the first five quests. The um, fifth quest came out today. I haven't done the sixth one yet. All I'm saying is Rack 7, if you have a Quake, you bring her because she's extremely good for extreme for uh, extremely high amounts of fights. So, yeah, Quake's just OP. I really hope they add her as a 6-star. I doubt they will, but she, she just, dude, 6-star rank through Quake, max boosted. Oh. Listen, they need to add Quake as a 6-star. It's not fair. There's so much bullshit in this game that Quake just gets around. It's not our fault we use her. Um, so yeah, add us a 6 star please. Thank you very much, Kabam. This fight, it's just long, really. Um, when you get to big ass act 6 and 7 fights, I mean, Quake fights, she works, but sometimes they take a little bit, but you try to be patient. So yeah, this fight is almost over. We got one more cycle, and he'll be dead. And then we'll go on to the fourth boss, and in one second, in three, two, one, yep. So this one's Captain Marvel. Literally, don't even read the nodes. I want you to not read the nodes. I think it has, like, close encounters and something else. But don't read the nodes. Just bring in a mystic. Just watch. Like, this is a, an actual Act 6.4 boss, and it drops in, I think, 30 seconds or something. Like, there's, like, no point in wasting time reading these nodes. Use Doom. Use someone, Symbiote. Use any mystic. Get to, like, a special tour sign, and just, just look at this energy damage. It's just bullying, dude. Captain Marvel just getting her cheeks clapped. This fight is very easy. Um, get to a special two with Doom and she's just dead. But yeah, it's a super easy fight. So yeah, going to the next fight in 3, 2, 1. Next fight is a Simi. What is it? Adaptoid. It is. It go, um, every time it throws a special attack, um, it gets an unstoppable and power gain, I think. I don't. I forgot where the power gain comes from. It also has Matador. Yeah, yeah the power gain is just on a timer. So, for this fight, um, Stealthy Spider-Man and Captain America Infinity War, or at least, I use Captain America, uh, I use Captain America Infinity War for all of my runs, um, for Act 6 Exploration. Um, right there, I don't know why I threw my fucking special 2 into his block. That was questionable. But, whatever. We still got set up. And once you get the web foam with Stealthy Spider-Man in this, dude, you basically just shut down the fight. This fight is actually uh, extremely fun. I actually like this fight a lot. Because um, once you get the uh, elongated web foam with the special two, then you pretty much just got him locked down. And he, he throws a lot of specials. So with this power gain too, it's super easy to um, build up your specials. Um, like you gain power in this fight crazy quickly. He also has um, regeneration. I think it's the Vigor node. Um, if you don't know what the Vigor node is, then just look it up. I forgot what it is, but it's just regen basically. Most characters can out damage it, um, especially rank five five stars, which you should be using if you're an Act six point four. So yeah, this fight um, is a little bit long, but it's definitely fun. Um, my stealthy Spider Man is hitting pretty hard. Um, I think I messed up a few times in this fight, but we still managed to get the one shot. Um, I think we end the fight with very low health, if I remember. So right here, I'm going to drop, reset my um, web foam um, cartridge, cartridge, cartridge on him. And um, yeah, that makes him not able to go unstoppable. Very fun, very fun indeed. Um, this fight's pretty easy to do with Captain America and Fifty War. What I did is I just um, kept just using special threes with him like I, I would just bait out a few of this guy's specials and just throw another special three cap and we just do that over and over again uh because i think he also has limber yeah he has limber also so you can't parry forever um with the white magneto synergy actually and i think about it the white magneto synergy um you can parry forever with the passive stun so that is cool um i would like a six star white magneto and i think about it you know, I thought his synergies weren't that useful, but the more I think about it, the more and more scenarios I realize that, like, Limber really can can make some annoying fights, and with that synergy, Limber just doesn't matter. So, I know, uh, you know, more thinking about it more and more, I, I wouldn't mind getting a 6-star White Magneto. I'd way rather get the Red Magneto, but I do already have a 5-star rank 5 Red Magneto, so I don't have the White Magneto yet. So right here, we're getting this fight lower and lower. I'm just going to bait another special two. Come back in. And put another web foam. We're about to be done. 
So we've done basically um, 23 out of the 24 bosses. I'm not going to put a recording of the Grandmaster fight just because I tried to go for some one shots and um, didn't work well. But I've one shot him before. It's on my channel. I got. I had the world record for the fastest Grandmaster clear for a while with rank 360 Dragon, but then Legacy beat it um, like when the fight came out. So yeah, I'm not going to explain that fight. The fight. Grandmaster, if you want to know, you can use literally any character in the game, and you just have to play well. Literally any character. Um, Sweet has proved that time and time. You can literally use any character. You just have to... He, he goes in his phases. He tells you what to do. You do those things, and you're good. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go like and subscribe. If you want to see the Grandmaster takedown, you can look it up on my channel. It's like Aegon Solo, something like that. So, yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace.